Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to Mystery Bag Mondays here at a Loot Fam YouTube channel. Uh, if you've never been here before, Mystery Bag Mondays, where we hang out, talk vintage, uh, talk reselling, stuff like that, and open up bags like this one, full of potentially vintage t-shirts, and we search them for uh, uh, valuable vintage tees. So the, where I get these, I get these from a local thrift store uh, that basically at this point just puts all their t-shirts in bags like this. Every t-shirt that's donated pretty much goes into one of these bags and they just sell them in bulk. Uh, typically the whole premise was that that uh, mechanic shops and stuff would buy these and use them to clean up oil spills and stuff like that. When I found out that they were doing this and potentially, you know, destroying some amazing valuable t-shirts uh i started buying them all up and i'm pretty much the only buyer now there's i think there's a couple other people that buy them but not all thrift stores do this handful of thrift stores throughout the country uh, do you might find a thrift store in your area that will do it for you as well um i personally implore you to do that because it's a lot of fun uh several people who watch this channel have done so themselves and found some pretty awesome stuff i pay about six dollars per bag so um, I'm looking for at least one decent tee to make my money back. Uh, so typically that's what happens. And we found some pretty amazing t-shirts in the last few weeks. I think um, we hit a Salvatore Dali t-shirt. We hit some, uh, we hit a Stanley DeSantis not too long ago. We've hit some amazing wrestling tees. Um, but lots of lots of t-shirts in the past. Some pretty amazing ones too. So pretty excited. Last week was meh. This week, hopefully, will be bangers all around. And I'm going to add a little bit of a twist to uh, the live streams going forward. Um, we're going to see how this goes. But what I want you to do is I want you to put one guess in at any point or at the beginning of the show when you get on, when you come on the stream, put one guess in as to what, which, what, what tea we're going to find. Describe the tea. Say it's going to be like a... Uh, Degeneration X Wrestling T size XL, something like that, or a all over print X Men T size large, and give a good description, specific description. If it's too general, we're not going to count it. But if you if that T shirt somehow comes out of the rag bags, it is yours. So you have to have a size, so it has to be the exact size, and you have to have a very clear description um, of the T shirt. So. I just can't just say racing T size XL. You got to give me a little bit more information than that. But we'll just see how it goes. See if it uh, makes it more enjoyable, more fun. Uh, if you guess and guess specific enough, the T-shirt is yours. And uh, we'll figure out a way to get it to you. Anyway, so much fun. Let's get into the bags. Hope you guys are enjoying. What's up, DK? Yo, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Let's get into some bags and see what we can find this week. Bag number one out of seven bags. Okay, St. Louis Cardinals, late 90s cutoff, size 2XL. That's a good... Yeah, <laughs> that's probably... You pro will probably get that out of here, to be honest. Uh, that's a pretty safe bet <laughs> because I get so many uh, Cardinals t-shirts through here. What do we got here? Oh, starting the day off right. We've got XL, Tommy Hilfiger. Um... Nirvana, never mind, XL, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> Man, maybe I'm going to regret this. Maybe we'll only do this every other one because uh, you guys are going to get all the good guesses. But you only get one guess. So uh, the only, oh, I see that. This vintage time is all kind of, all kinds of painted on, but we'll hold on to it. Um but typically a good sign to start seeing some vintage early on. <clears throat> yeah, I might regret doing it this way. Maybe we won't do <laughs> you guys. You just it'll just be my luck that this week somebody's gonna I'm gonna pull out a Nirvana T and you know the bank the best t-shirt we've ever found out of here, and you guys are gonna get it. But that's all right, that's a chance I'm willing to take you guys are hanging out with me. Uh, try to make it a little bit more enjoyable. I will. <clears throat> All right. 91 finals, Bulls, Lakers, Salem. Ooh, that's a good one. Metal band, Torti, early 2000s. Okay. I'll count that unless it's like a weird version of uh, 
uh, we'll have to decide on the, uh, the genre of the, the t-shirt of the band. <clears throat> but I'll remind you guys uh, as we go through the evening, if you haven't, uh, because I have a replay, I can tell you when you when uh, somebody put their guests in um, and if it was before or after um, before or after the t-shirt was pulled out. So it uh, should be fairly straightforward. We'll see how this goes. Got some actual rags some towels in here. It does tend to happen. We actually, this one's actually a Tommy Hilfiger towel. Um, it's fairly clean, so we'll probably hold on. Oh, sick. Look at that, guys, actually. This is sicker than I thought. Check it out. We got a Tommy Hilfiger fan in here. And it's got the Tommy Hilfiger spell out. That's actually super dope. Big Tommy Hilfiger fan here. So this is going home with me for sure. Uh, pretty dope. All right, come on. Bag number one. Looks like we have some <clears throat> Tommy Hilfiger vibes, so maybe some late 90s tees here. So those would probably be good guesses. You guys are going to be bum like bummed out if... Uh... Oh, this is cool. This is like vintage Calvin Klein. Is it Calvin Klein 1990 on there? Calvin Klein University, maybe? I don't know. It's weird. I don't think I've ever seen this Calvin Klein tag before. It's just on a basic T. Um... Made in USA, made of you. Oh, symbol in Honduras. So I don't know. That's probably not 1990. But anyway, we'll hold on to that. Maybe that's from that Tommy Hilfiger uh, donor. Got a bunch of random Mickey Mouse tees. Um, let's see. All right, we got some more rags. Bag number one's almost done. Um. What do you guys, did any of you guys check out the the video from, was it Friday, about the vintage t-shirt survey? And did you read the article? Did you read the article? And if you did, what or even if you just watched the video, what were your thoughts on the survey? Does that, uh, did anything surprise you? I found it fascinating because you just don't get that kind of data that often. Uh, so I thought it was really interesting. A t-shirt quilt last weekend. Oh, sick! I've seen some t-shirt quilts recently of some like, like the like if all the t-shirts on the quilt. I'm trying to remember who showed it to me, or where I saw it, but it was a t-shirt quilt that like, of all the band tees that were on it, like the value of those individual t-shirts combined is something like like five grand. So like, uh, you know, some some grandmas probably bummed or should be bummed. All right, that's about it for bag number one. We got a couple of Tommy Hilfiger and a little Calvin Klein thing. Nothing big, probably nothing that will really make the money back. There's some beautiful fibbing on their most valuable shirt. Yeah, I imagine that some, I mean, some of those t shirt values for like some of those really rare tees, I mean, who knows what someone would pay? I mean, I think that the, I don't know this for certain, I can't remember, but I believe I've heard that the record. Um, that was set like a few, like a year ago for that Aladdin T, the Stanley DeSantis Aladdin T. I feel like I heard that recently. It, I mean, that's, it's been broken already. So, um, maybe, you know, I just don't know what T's that would really be at this point. All right, let's get into to bag number two. This looks like there's a lot of towels, but it's pretty heavy. So who knows what's in here? Who in the world knows what is in here? But yeah, I thought the uh, I thought it was really interesting uh, just getting all that information um, from the t-shirt community, which is not something we normally get. The comfort colors t-shirts always throwing me off. Uh, we don't normally get that kind of information, um, so I thought that was really interesting. Some of the, the some of the data that's out there. And uh, what do you guys think about the uh, authentication service that defunct and legit teammate? Uh, I don't really like that name all that much, but legit, legit, legitimate. It's hard to say while trying to pronounce T in there. What do you guys think about the T-shirt authentication um, service that they're gonna, the app that they're gonna be releasing? Would you guys use that? Is that something you guys would use to val to validate your T-shirts? I think probably in some cases I might if I if I was buying it from somebody um, like a private party. But if I 
found it in the wild, like in the thrift in the wild, I don't think I'd probably feel like I needed it. Yeah, I tossed a new new car hard. I don't know, is it? I mean, this is like printed back, printed tag. Carhartt, is this like a thing? Are people buying this stuff now? It seems pretty wild if they are, because I mean they're literally everywhere over here. Uh, if it were a bit older, I might I might personally keep it, but or keep it to resell. But you tell me, guys. You guys might know better than I do. Probably do in that case. Yeah, it'd have to be a big buy for you to use it. Yeah, I don't know what their prices are, so I don't know what they're expecting like per authentication i do know that i use authentication services for designer goods a lot of times um because designer goods are frequently faked um and running into them out on in the in the thrift can be you know hard to do hard to dis discern um and that costs like 30 dollars per authentication sometimes i think it's the last time i paid for one that's what it was so it's like are you willing to, if it's 30 bucks, are you guys willing to pay for a authentication on a t-shirt? Um, and I guess come to think about it. Um, all right. So, oh, well, it's not really late, late nineties. We're getting there close there, Nathan. We got this, uh, St. Louis Cardinals, St. Louis blues t-shirt on the real modern Gildan, uh, dry blend tag size, large, uh, not quite what you described, but pretty close. Uh, yeah, I would likely use it to legit check online purchase. Pro yeah, yeah, Justin, I'm with you. I think, I think, if I find it at thrift store, my my assumption is that it's, or my, I guess my my tendency is to believe that it's not fake, just because, uh, especially with bigger tees, finding them out in the wild, fake, especially where I live, um, like it would just be really odd. Um, that would be probably more unlikely than it is. Um, uh, it's quite a bit more unlikely than it would be from. Uh, finding one online but but the uh uh here's another one of those car hearts just large pocket pretty worn um but the uh but, but if i was buying online i think i definitely would use it for some of the bigger end stuff and it kind of makes you wonder at what point i don't know if you guys are familiar but like um uh eBay, you know, eBay rolled out a while back. They rolled out the authentic authentic, authenticity guarantee for like uh, watches and designer handbags, stuff like that. They rolled that same service out for um, like sports cards. So you kind of wonder like if you know, how big does the market have to get before eBay says, hey, we'll offer authentication services on, um, on like high end vintage T-shirts. Um, I think that'd be really interesting and maybe uh, and probably a good move on and not a whole, not all that expensive either to offer uh, through eBay um, because uh, the, the biggest problem with, I think with, well, probably one of the biggest problems with buying online is, is the fact that, you know, people don't always give you good pictures and they may send you something different and, so I don't know. I don't know if that would be worth it for eBay to do um, or if anyone would be willing to offer those services for a decent amount that would make it possible. Oh, we have a 2013 World Series. I might hold on to this T-shirt, Boston Red Sox, St. Louis Cardinals um, from 2013. That might, I might be able to flip that one fairly easily. Uh, box, bag number two, bu box. Bag number two is coming to a close and it's not, has not treated us too good. Pretty dry. More of these Mickey t-shirts, Mickey Mouse t-shirts, which I suppose like may not be that bad of a flip, but um, since these are actually pretty clean, so I might hold on to that. Oh, dude, Steve, that's a sick, that's a sick description of a t-shirt. That'd be awesome, T. Hey, Steve, that's good to hear. I'm really excited to hear that. Uh, also, yeah, throw out, uh, let's hear what you guys thrifted last week. Uh, I showed a bunch of my stuff from the weekend, but let's hear what you found this week, uh, last week. Was it a good week? Are you getting out in the yard sales? What'd you find? Let me know. Let's, let's drop in the chat. Bag number three. This one feels pretty full. It's actually got a hole in it because it's a little bit too, uh, 
too big. Started off with uh, started off with little kid SpongeBob T. The gang's all here. 2010. I wish it were a bit older because that would probably be valuable. It's like we may have a bunch of kids clothes in this in this bag. Not what you want to see. Sorry. Uh, even if they're even like dope vintage, um, not always the best in terms of monetary profit. Even though they might still be cool to have. Yeah. No. 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 What's this? Oh. <laughs> Juice World Lucid Dreams. This is actually pretty dope. This is like a. This is a size small. Um, you know, R.I.P. Uh, but that's probably something to hold on to. Small. I wish it were not small. Got a Dodge Ram T. It's not that old. Not that old at all. Probably not worth keeping. <laughs> yeah, the hat has been making me hungry. The hat makes me hungry just looking at back at it in the in the return video. But man, I gotta drive like ten minutes to grab me some Doritos. Um, oh, oh, ah, oh, man, look what I just saw. <laughs> I saw this graphic and I started to freak, but it's very modern and it's sleeveless, intentionally sleeveless. Man, ugh, it's a bummer. It's not Chase Authentics. It's a, it's an extra large Jimmy Johnson. I don't know. Might be worth trying to flip. Maybe. Maybe. Oh man, the AF. Ugh, that's a that's that's a. I just sold an AFI shirt the other day too. Um, I think all those Y2K bands, those Y2K bands are coming back up, like are coming up. So I think everybody needs to be, you know, paying attention to that. Um, the AFI t-shirt I had was not even a very interesting tee. Pretty small graphic and stuff. I think it sold for like 50, 50 bucks. Oh, man, this was got me going for a second, too. This was a huge graphic. Uh, this is uh, NAFCO, Lion Ready for Action, 2021. Very, very recent. Very recent. Uh, let's keep it moving. Found a pair of 70s fried black label suede. Ooh. Yeah, Victor. That is nice. Yeah, boots. Boots are boots are huge. Like if you if you can figure the boots out, if you know the boots and you can pick them up, like even for even even paying $30, that's a great flip. I feel like there's a lot of people that don't do boots because they just seem a little bit hard to deal with. Um, but I think. Got a cool, uh, this is just a local something or other. Um, well, I think I see something, maybe. Oh, nice. A 1943. Ooh. Bull jackets are killer. Uh, we've got uh, we got the EGG Bowl. Old Miss, Mississippi State, 2014. This is probably not. I don't think it's probably worth. I might. I don't know. Sometimes I'll just weed those out afterwards because I've got to still pay, you know, to get them. It's going to still take me time to list and to all that sort of stuff. Um, oh, we got a Lee Sport, Pool Hulse, St. Louis Cardinals, size me medium. Getting closer, my dude. Getting closer. We got the Fox Racing T. But that army that army field jacket, that, that could turn you a big chunk of money. I, anything World War II military, like I sell I don't think I ever sell it for under under a hundred bucks. Um, I do want to at some point here. Oh, interesting. The Los Lobos sound machine will rock your face off. Size medium on the like the late or size small on the well, it's not quite late nineties, but it's probably early two thousands. That's not that band that did the. That's not that band that did the. Uh, that's the Los Lonely Boys. I don't know what that is. Someone tell me if they know. 
Um, what was I saying about? Yeah, feel the army stuff. That's good stuff. Oh, nice, Brant. Good pickup. All right, come on. These bags got to be heating up. Come on now. So far, just lots and lots of modern stuff. Lots of stuff from like the last five years. I mean, these things happen if, you know, if we make it to the whole stream without anything dope, then like, um, you know, you never know. Uh, for those of you who are just joining or joined recently, I made this announcement at the beginning, but put your picks in if you can accurately describe the t-shirt and the size of the shirt that we find in today's uh, rag bags, the t-shirt is yours. Uh, so if uh, if uh, you got to give a pretty vivid description, so like uh, if it's a band, it's got to be the name of the band, if it's a sports team, name of the sports team, the size, etc. cetera. Um, it needs to be pretty specific. Um, and the era, let's call it era if it's from. Uh, a couple of people already in, so... Uh, if uh, you duplicate something that somebody already has mentioned, we will have to go with the person who picked it first. So uh, definitely uh, throw it out there if you can. Kelsey, no thrift dance of late. We went to Disney. Woo! Oh, man. That's a bummer. Disney Cruise. That sounds like a lot of fun. We went to Disney World this summer. Uh, this Christmas was fantastic, but uh, a lot of fun. Well, oh, Joseph, that's sick. Lo I mean, as you can tell, I do love finding old uh, vintage uh, uh, movie movie stuff. So that's super dope. Oh, man, that's crazy, Stephen. 50 of them. That's nuts. All right, let's keep it moving. Bag number four. Or bag number three. Bag number three, four. I think it's four. We have three left. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's hope we're going to find some heat in this one because i'm getting tired of it not being tired of losing out on here we got some got some towels i never am at a loss for towels around the house we got so many of them uh speaking of cruises we got a carnival cruise t-shirt right here but it's very modern um, i have sold some cruise tees in the past some vintage cruise tees cruise tees Man, come on, we gotta find something. I mean, it's just funny because, like, I mean, the truth is, is that it's hard to find like super valuable vintage tees. So when you really do hit them, like, it's pretty wild. It's a pretty rare and you know unusual occurrence. What the heck is this? What in the world is this? This is a, there's the neck. J.C. Penny, what are you? Uh, I guess it's a wide crop bat wing suit or something. Like that's weird. It's obviously a women's uh, design, so no idea. Guys, Excel sounds good. Yeah, Jason, not much today so far. We still have uh, three and a half bags left, so you never know. It could come in at the last, the last minute. All we need is one real big one. We had a couple, you know, maybes. Actually, quite a few maybes on the fence. Um, uh, that's kind of cool. We got the mountain, but it's very modern mountain tea. But I have been selling them, so uh, I do always like to flip mountain tea. Just sold like a bunch of them just recently, um, to all to one buyer. Um, if it was any of you, congratulations! You got a bunch of cool cool teas. Uh, not vintage. Oh come on! In fact, does not look like it's gonna go. Go well. We got a big dog tea. What does it say? Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Big dog teas. I just, I can't, I don't know. Don't like them. Don't care for them. Oh, it's all good. Pat. <laughs> Rob, I know. Um, what if you've missed, just remember we have, we're doing, if you haven't heard, if you aren't here, uh, we're playing a little game today. If you can, if you can accurately describe 
uh, one of the t-shirts that we pull out of here, like uh, uh, specifically a vintage t-shirt that's worth some money. Uh, give me the like the band name, the sports team name, and the size. Um, if we pull it out, it's yours. We're going to play a little game today. So, uh, <laughs> bears with flowers. <laughs> that's a good bet, Kelsey. Um, <laughs> it's a good bet. You, you might find that. Um, it's a good bet. So, uh, put your description in. Obviously, I'm going to be able to tell from the replay if you put your if you, you know, if we hit a banger and you, you know, call it afterwards, then, um, then I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, then, then I, that's not going to count. Um, so put it in now. So in case, you know, it comes out in one of these bags, uh, it will be yours. I don't know how many times we'll play this game or how often, but maybe we will in the future, uh, just to keep it interesting. So we'll see at the Goodwill bins. There was a pair of size 70. Woo. Yeah. I would have picked them up size 72, anything. Anything that goes beyond 60 typically is like uh, just really hard to find. And so by virtue of its size, it gets, you know, there's some value there. So um, they are a bear to ship, but because uh, they definitely don't fit your normal like padded flat rates. All right, bag number five. <clears throat> I got a good feeling about this bag. Uh, I don't know why. Let's see. Got some towels can't ever sleep on the towels either i've we pulled a set of towels um out of one of these bags and sold it for a hundred dollars it was an old vintage ralph lauren um like um vintage ralph lauren wow they turned that into something uh vintage ralph lauren like aztec southwestern print so can't can't count them out too too quickly I've not been finding a lot of vintage gear at this thrift store recently. So it does, you know, give me some pause to think that maybe, you know, that's just a sign. Nobody with a bunch of old clothes came in, but you know, we had the citywide yard sale recently uh, in uh, the town where I buy these bags. And uh, it's quite possible that they, uh, you know, what tends to happen is that now that those all those yard sales happen, they donate all their stuff that's left over. So um, you never know. You never, ever know. Salem Sportswear Cubs T large. Sounds good. Let's see. <laughs> Size XL Duck Dynasty Wrap T. <laughs> that, that's the best. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> all right. If I pull it out and I show it to you, and if this if it's accurately described, then uh, you know, I'll send it to you if you really, really, really want it so bad. But that's great. Uh, I'll pick 90 Simpsons TXL. Who knows? You're right. Who knows? That's the whole name of the game of mystery bags. Is who the heck knows? Um, I'll tell you this: that just about every T that I've ever pulled out here. Um, that was worth anything. I was, you know, shocked to find. We got a blank with some holes in it, unfortunately, on the Haynes Beefy. Uh, so that late, that late eighties Beefy, pretty small, um, size medium, but it's got holes in it. I don't know. It's vintage. It's a good sign that there's some vintage in here, maybe, but but it's a pretty small size. We got hybrid. This is just some like random junk. What we got here. No. Uh, let's see what else. 1989 Sturgis Large. Like it. Uh, Magic Johnson Tees all over print tee. That's a good pick. Don't know if I'll find one of those, but that's a good pick. So what have you guys been selling this week? You guys had any good big sales? Curious to hear what you're selling right now. Uh, we're starting to move into the sort of summer slowdown. I always see, always find that it starts to start trickling off here at in towards the end of April uh, and May can be pretty rough sometimes. Of course, the summer slowdown is pretty rough in the middle of the summer, but um, you got any good sales lately? And if so, would you mind sharing them? 
Let us rejoice with you. Oh man, this was this bag disappointed for sure. Um yes, that is dope. You just got that one from the uh that uh basement sale, didn't you? Herring Harrington nice 55 sick. How much you sell that uh Canon Canon camera for? Bag number 6. Bag numero sixo. Rare wear. This is just some like random boutique streetwear brand, isn't it? Let me know. Pretty sure it is. Feels like it. Um, Periellis. Both pairs of my 19. And I've nabbed them with it. With oh, nice. 25, 34. Sweet. Good bread and butter sales. We sold over the weekend, I believe it was 20 t-shirts. Like 80% of what we sold was uh, over the weekend was just t-shirts, all tees, which makes sense. We're moving into the summertime. People are getting t-shirts instead of jackets and coats. Um, so, but uh, lots and lots of t-shirts. Obviously, we also have a lot of t-shirts in our inventory, so that definitely helps, but um t-shirt sales have been popping off for us um and kept going today so uh which i don't mind at all because love t-shirts and uh, i have a lot of them so oh man uh this bag is not, <laughs> i'm gonna be disappointed this might be worse than two weeks ago or uh, yeah two weeks ago you know, three weeks ago, two weeks ago was great. Three weeks ago, we had a really rough weekend uh, with it. And then we had the uh, Salvatore Dali tea uh, come through and the Stanley DeSantis teas come through. So bad weeks, good weeks. I would, would be okay if they were interchangeable. They just come back and forth. Where am I based out of? I am based out of Southern Missouri. I don't really live in any one town, live out in the country and uh, hit up local towns, local cities uh, for all my thrifting. Yeah, stocking up on shorts. I wish I wish a lot that um, that, that that thrift stores would just leave shorts out all year round because I would be picking them up left and right. But they do. They all put them out, at least in my area. Like all at once, right at the, like right at the end of of the winter. So uh, it can be super frustrating trying to compete to get them. <clears throat> really good find at the rag this morning. Ooh, ninety four liquid. That's great. Nice, nice find, Jake. Oh, your bow jacket seventy plus ship. That's nice. That is nice, nice, nice. That's pretty. That's. Jerbo, that's, I mean, they used to be really, really hot stuff, obviously, in the early 2000s. Um, but uh, you can still you can still hit uh, some decent Jerbo stuff and flip it. All right, last bag, everybody. Hopefully we sold the best for last. I will think about next week if we want to run this uh, little giveaway contest again. Oh, wow, we got some vintage whitey tighties. Whitey, tidy whiteys. Size medium. They're not that actually vintage, probably, but they're clean. <laughs> uh, a lot of them, actually. Super clean. Woohoo! Man, that's going to be the thumbnail. No, ain't nobody ever wore these. Not once. I'm not going to find out. All right. Salt Life Tea. Lots of underwear in this one. And one. I didn't think about, I thought it'd be really funny to do a, like, most valuable vintage underwear video. I might still do it. <laughs> Nobody, hey, you guys did not call white the, the white underwear. Nobody posted that before I pulled it out, so I'm not sending it to you.
Do I co-sign for people who prefer to just buy? All right. Uh, Kelsey, I rarely co-sign. Um, if I'm co-signing, if I co-sign, uh, it's only to people that are really close to me that um, understand that like things sometimes need to get returned and understand my terms. Cause um, I just prefer to buy outright. Cause I don't, what I don't like is, is you can get all kinds of weird situations that happen. It's like, Hey, I got to charge fees. I got to charge this. I got to take all this out for shipping or there was an issue. And I just don't like the, the, the possibility of ruining relationships and people misunderstanding and misinterpreting what, what happened um, and what happened in your business deal for something like that. Um, so I don't, I do not prefer co-signing. Oh, none of you called this. You guys, I don't think anyone called this. Nearly dead stock. Boom, baby. <laughs> this thing is crispy guys. Never been worn size large land of the free made in China. Sorry, this is mine. None of you guys called it. Bummer. I picked up Regal denim shorts. Not, uh, Brent, I don't know if they're anything, but denim shorts, especially if they're shorter shorts for like women, um, and maybe if they're vintage. There's a lot of random vintage denim brands out there from the 90s and the 80s. Uh, but they, as long as they maybe look cool, they're going to sell. Um, Tim Bows and Jerbos, that's right. Uh, flipped and blazer. Ooh, 200 bucks under 24 hours. Way to go. A few thrifts down here in Houston do donation collections up there in St. Louis. So we get a ton. Of, yeah. Yeah. If you're down in Houston, stuff ends up in St. Louis stuff ends up in Houston all the time. It's really funny. Uh, I, like I've been watching Paul Cantu for years and years and years now. And I was always surprised. Like there's just did everyone from St. Louis just move to Houston and just offload all their gear. Cause there's constantly St. Louis stuff down there. I <laughs> wish I called it. <laughs> I traded a new attack feels an antique tin women's jacket. I found the bins for like 12. Oh man, that's crazy. Jason, that's a big deal. New attack Vilson. Um speaking of one of my favorite jackets is this guy right here. It's a modern Filson piece, uh, but it's Filson. Uh, this little Filson jacket I got from my old work where I worked with uh um uh, troubled teens and i got that as a parting gift super dope jacket uh grill <laughs> they were made in russia interesting oh silver tab baggy shorts for 40 dollars. that's a great sale for uh for baggy uh, for jor for jean shorts jean shorts appear to have a little bit of life left in them and silver tabs you're right uh Pat, or ralph rob uh they're always they're always money always money so I think they're just they're they never produce so much of it that it, it saturates the market ever and the styles are interesting and it's so off the beaten path. We got more dead stock underwear, uh, new without tags. We got a Polo Ralph Lauren women's pink blank. It's, it's a modern. Oh wow! Okay, hold on, guys. Look at this. All right, so this is a modern polo tee. Check it out. It's got the print on the back, but it is single stitch. So put Ralph Lauren on the list of possible modern single stitch tees. This actually might be a men's. This is a, this is definitely a men's large with just the V-neck. Um, but single stitch on the arm hems and the bottom. So just, head, just heads up, everybody. Sold my YouTube. Oh, there you go. YouTube for 55. Yeah. YouTube stuff. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Almost every YouTube tea I ever get a hold of sells for way less than I thought. And mo I think mostly it's like just tons of, there's tons of stuff printed. And while they are one of the most popular bands on the planet, everyone already has a t-shirt of theirs. And, you know, it's just there. And the t-shirts aren't particularly always that super interesting either. So, uh, but YouTube tees are definitely not, Super strong relative to other t-shirts uh, from bands from that era. Yeah, no, <laughs> random stuff. No, I'm good. I get enough St. Louis Cardinal stuff. Cardinal stuff just sits and sits and sits for me. 
Um, surprisingly, we don't ever get any royal stuff. Like, I just never find royals gear. Uh, more whitey tidies. I don't know. I might just bundle these up, make my money back because you know they're probably from the early 2000s, late 90s. I don't know. I got to make up for all these for this for this poor poor day of rag bags. I think we got um oh hey oh hey oh another dead stock size large what it do back to back bangers I'm gonna start that collection soon uh, even big size so yeah silver tabs everything silver tabs works uh, sells well <laughs> everyone hates Bono that might be that might be why that might be why but uh YouTube stuff just does not move for whatever reason. Um, some of the t-shirts are pretty cool. The rattle and hum tee is pretty dope, but um, yeah, they don't typically move for a lot of money, but, which is unfortunate because um, I do find them fairly regularly. Uh, let's go back review this pretty sad mystery bag Monday. Was not anything to write home about. We had early on, we had this uh, Tommy Hilfiger XL. Uh, vintage tea like late 90s it's got a lot of paint on it probably not even going to try to sell it we had the 80s uh blank with a hole in it uh hanes beefy uh probably the best and my most and the my favorite find today was this uh tommy hilfiger uh towel with the tommy hilfiger inscription that's pretty dope wish it wasn't bleached uh but that's probably it's probably my favorite so far and it's going to stay with me because i Big Tommy Hilfiger fan. We had this random Calvin Klein tee, which I've never seen before with the tag at least. It says Calvin Klein 19, Calvin, uh, Calvin Klein University 1990. Double stitch tee. Not sure about that. Um, we had this guy fake us out big time earlier. Uh, thought it was dope, but it's, brand, it's fairly new. NASCAR. Um, made in Indonesia. Extra large. Intentionally no sleeves. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's going to go. Uh, we did have this guy with the, the Juice World tee, uh, which might be pretty cool. Um, probably could sell it, but it's size small, which is kind of a bummer. Um, we had that Cardinals, Red Sox, World Series tee, 2013. Nothing crazy. I might not even sell it. Who knows? Uh, but I definitely did not make money today, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, Dorito said, yeah, we just picked this up uh, the week before last. No. Not this weekend, but the weekend previous out of the yard sale. Uh, got it for like 50 cents. Super excited. Bono's a jack wagon. He's as, as interesting as a certain designs. <laughs> yeah, Bono's certainly um, all over the place. Funny story is I have a pretty close friend that's like who's pretty tight with with uh, Bono himself. Yep, he uh, got uh, he got uh, Bono sent him wedding gifts for his wedding personalized uh personalized uh letter and everything um he seems to like bono well enough but uh obviously got a long history of of people not particularly caring for him so uh but uh unfortunately nobody hit today uh nobody picked out the t-shirt uh any specific t-shirt but we will. We might try this again next week. So I'll let you guys know. We'll drop it in the. I'll drop it in like the community tab or something, and let you guys know if uh, if we still do it. Because I think it does kind of add a little bit of flavor. The odds of you getting it right are really low, but you never really know. So maybe you come in here and every week you just post that one T-shirt you're really looking for, and maybe you know a year down the line we find it. Uh, but who it? Uh, who knows? Who even knows? So. Uh, that's all the rag bags, unfortunately. Uh, we'll be back with rag bags next Monday. We've got videos coming out this week, uh, including uh, one that uh, is a little bit embarrassing to me, uh, a little bit sad and disappointing for myself. And so I will share with you my pain uh, <laughs> later on this week. And then we'll have, uh, I think we're going to do a whole a little series on Apex One, the brand Apex One, do a little bit of how to identify Apex One. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz. Have a good week. Uh, we will see you guys later. Peace.